What's going on West Texas? Damian Bartonic here to deliver you the latest in sports and we're going to start this right off in Menard, Texas as the Yellow Jackets softball team hoisted the 13 1A district title earlier in the week. On your screen you're going to see the Lady Jackets gathering around the district crown. Hands up, ones up, they're feeling good. Now this is the first time under coach Trevor Wright that his squad has been district champs and he couldn't be more proud of those he's coached from day one of his tenure. This is my third year of coaching softball and uh, I've had this group of seniors this year. I've had them for those, all three of those years and they've uh, put in a lot of work for me and I really appreciated it and it's almost like this last last few games it just really clicked. Now Menard isn't the only softball team looking to make waves in the playoffs as the Abilene Christian Wildcats are also in the hunt for playoff seating in the upcoming WAC tournament. The Cats have nine games left on their schedule and sit just two in conference wins away from finishing as a top four seed. ACU's final nine games that you see on your screen, they're going to be all in conference play and they have a real shot at solidifying themselves as an elite team with a couple of wins. Now besides getting the dub, Coach Farler told me she wants to see this team uh, much, much more committed to their overall philosophy, which is discipline. Going into the final stretch of the year, we can show that we've grown in that area and that um, we're really committed to the play. If we're, you know, we're all in together on whatever the play is and that we have really good discipline um, with our plan and our attack throughout the game. Uh, those are things that I'm really watching and looking for from the team. Now, I promised you all some Mavs talk in the 9 o'clock broadcast, and here we are. A battle between two familiar playoff opponents awaits us starting Sunday afternoon, where the Mavericks will travel to La La Land to take on the Clippers for the third time in five years. Now, pay attention to the numbers on your screen. These are some of Dallas's most impactful starters and what they average against the Clippers for their career. As you see, the scoring is plentiful. Doncic at nearly 33 points a game. Kyrie at 23 and 5. Offensively, Dallas has not had an issue with the Clippers, but it's actually been their defense, and that's where this series is going to be won and lost for the Mavs. So, West Texas, go ahead and follow me. So, the numbers that you're going to see right here on your screen, you're going to see numbers in red and numbers in blue. The numbers in red, that's where the Clippers are at their best offensively. As you can tell, all the numbers from beyond the three point line money 41.6 percent in the corner on um, threes above the break 36 percent there it doesn't matter where they shoot beyond the arc they are hitting they are top five shooting team in the nba from three-point range but where they struggle is actually from the restricted area particularly at the rim and from the mid-range so what the mavericks are going to have to do is force the clippers to shoot those mid-range shots and particularly shoot those shots in the paint at the rim now you're going to ask me well damon how are they going to do that well they're going to do something called funnel or forcing middle which is riding the offensive players out outside hip and forcing them to drive into the restricted area specifically into where those interior defenders those help defenders are going to be at and secondly what they're going to have to do is close out hard that means every time those Clippers players get that ball in their hands at the three-point line they're going to come up chop their feet have a hand on their face and force them to actually put the ball on the floor and take a drive make a pass and all that extra stuff look I know it sounds easy when I explain it to you that way and this is basketball baby anything can happen but I all I know is this, if the Mavericks can do that, can force the Clippers to shoot those mid-range shots, to shoot those shots, particularly at the rim, they're going to be in a good spot to win this series. But hey, I could be crazy, y'all. We're going to see. That's the beautiful thing about basketball. They got to play the game. For now, this is all I got for you in sports, but do not miss it because there's a lot more coming.